Hello! Today I would like to tell you why I'm here with you every day. What is the reason behind it? Lena is with you because if you think about it, nobody in our life really cares about our health, except perhaps our parents, our spouse, or our children. So, and we ourselves are the only one who really cares about our health, the way, the way we think and we, the way we feel, our body image, um, our stomach, our thighs, whatever else, and our blood pressure. Whose problem is it? It's our own problem. And most of us, we tend to forget to care about our beautiful bodies. So what happens, we develop nasty habits, nasty habits that lead to problems in the end, in the future. Uh, not now, not next week, not in two months, but say in 10 years or 20 years. And then we regret how bad happens, but it's too late already because it's too much piled up and it's very hard to get rid of the problem then. And I am here to motivate you by example and perhaps by what I say and do in front of the camera to turn back to yourself and look at your body, look in the mirror, see if there is anything that you could do, any small little wee habit that you can change perhaps with time to improve your health. And health is, is number one priority, isn't it? What, what is more important than health? Nothing really. I think it is number one priority and for most people it would be the same too. That is my role. My role is the catalyst, the trigger, the motivator, whatever it takes to make you think, oh hold on, maybe I should have more vegetables, or hold on, maybe milk isn't that good for me. Let's just research something on Google and see if it's true what she's saying or if it's bollocks. <laughs> you never know, you never know. You might find some information that will just click with you and you think, wow, and all these years I didn't know what it was about and I've been making the same mistake over and over again, perhaps. And exercise and being active, you see, I could be here talking to you, sitting on the bean bag, relaxing like a slug all day with a book and with the camera, but no, I'm here doing two tasks simultaneously, so perhaps you will be motivated to do a bit of stretching as well, like raising your arms and trying to bend your back and just stretching your shoulders because you've been in front of the computer today a bit too long, so your neck and your shoulders are a bit stiff, and they're a bit stiff today, but imagine if they're stiff, stiff, stiff for... Um, 300, 400, 500 days, and then what? Then you'll start to get serious pain in the neck. <laughs> so, I hope I'm doing my job well and getting you to think about your body and about your food choices, about your health. We are what we eat. Well, our bodies are what we eat and how we exercise. Really? genetical aspect, yes, it's very important too, but basically our food and the amount of exercise we get is up to us, nobody else. And the time in our life, how many hours you want to work, how many hours you want to exercise, it's all up to you. This is all from Pink Lena today, so I hope you are making some changes, and if you're not yet, Keep on watching, maybe you will later. Maybe it just takes time to persuade you. Mistress is coming. It's a bad hair day, perhaps. Yes, a very important issue to address with my 101 and 201 students is today all dedicated to the subject of chastity. And as your mistress, as your teacher, as your guide, and your goddess, plenty of names, 
I would like to tell you that chastity and being in chastity is very, very important and I believe, and this is controversial, so you might disagree, especially the non-submissive part of my audience will most surely disagree. I think that orgasms, the more orgasms you have, the more often you have it, the lower you get on your spiritual development level and that might be fine with you but I think for most of us we want to be coming from down here, up here and learning to use our sexual energy in a number of different ways to progress in life, to develop and to become closer to the divine. <laughs> Well, if you believe in God, closer to God. If you don't believe in God, closer to whatever you believe in. This something which is out there. The, the wisdom, the whatever. And with sexual desire, it's quite tricky because it's in us. It gets renewed every day, right? You can feel it, definitely. Especially if you watch some sexy videos on YouTube. But if you suppress it, it will ruin you. If you let it out, it can be destructive, but it can also be creative. And there are different ways to use it. And I cannot tell you how to use it and what to do with your sexual energy, except that finding an outcome in ejaculation is a waste of your energy and as to the submissive group you yes I think that there's something inborn in the submissive man some understanding some wisdom that a woman can control their sexuality and that is for their own good and you can feel it and I could always feel it too but it is my role to control your sexuality and to guide you towards using your sexual energy in a different way so that it doesn't come out here, it develops and goes up into the higher levels when you can use it to do something like serve your mistress or serve your wife, serve your girlfriend, serve other people, you know, be kind, do the act of love and act of compassion, kindness and things like that. But you must be very careful not to let this suppressed sexual force, suppressed sexual energy to destroy you and eat you inside or come out in a violent way. And how are we going to do this? It's um, very difficult. When you find yourself having a sexual desire, and this is purely my own theory, when you find yourself having a sexual desire, you will find that the energy is concentrated in the lower part of your stomach mostly. And what you got to do with it, you got to sit in the corner if, if you are my 101 or 201 students, you have your corner time for this, for this purpose. You have to raise this energy up to step away from the base, from thinking about ejaculation or touching yourself or things like that, which will bring you way back down to the to the basic level where you don't want to be because we all want to develop, we want to be more open and in better communication with each other and with the greater energy that you might want to call God. So this is an exercise for you, trying to use your sexual energy in other ways. And since you're my students of only one or two months, I know that it will be difficult to stay in chastity for long periods, but try to decrease it, decrease the frequency of your orgasms as much as you can. And for now, my standard is once a week on Sundays, but I think that a lot of you would be able to move up from that 
So first time it's a week, second time it's eight days, third time it's nine days. That sort of pattern would be perfect. And uh, I wish you luck with this. You can write to me and this is for your own good. You can always write to me about your progress and how you're feeling if you notice any changes. But don't suppress it, move it up. And if you can't move it up, then you have to have an ejaculation. But if, if you manage to move it up, please write to me about it and convert it into an act of kindness, an act of giving towards your mistress or towards any other human being or, or a dog or a cat. And, um, and we're getting over 10 minutes again. Oh no. <laughs> As I try. Okay. So, this is about your sexual energy. And there is a wonderful video that explains my views on chastity and sexual energy. It's a long video and I will post a link in the subject of this video for one-on-ones and two-on-ones. It's compulsory homework to watch it. The first half of the video until about 30 minutes is basic and you probably know everything like about symbolism in religion and the rest will be on chastity and sexuality. It's very interesting. I hope you learn something from it. This reflects my views which are coming from here and they're coming from here naturally and but, well, somebody else found it from research and um, um, codes from religions, I guess, symbols. It's a different source, but the same principle, principle of chastity. So I hope you enjoy the video as well. For ST students, you have the weekend to watch it. You can watch it with your family. There's nothing dirty in it. It's more like a BBC documentary format, although it's not. But um, you can watch it with other people. You don't need to be in the privacy of yourself. Have a good weekend and we'll see you tomorrow.